Do you find that your DSLR is consistently missing focus? In this Tech Corner video, I will show you how to fix that for tack sharp photos. All cameras and lenses are made to strict specifications in order for you to be able to swap lenses as required and still get the shot. Unfortunately, when anything is mass produced, it is extremely difficult and expensive to have every unit made exactly with the same dimensions. So whenever anything is mass produced, there is an acceptable tolerance that manufacturers work with. Think of it as I calculated close enough. The acceptable tolerance is always specified as a plus or minus amount from the original design. So please note that I'm exaggerating the tolerances in this video for illustration only. In reality, the difference is measured in hundreds of a millimeter. In cameras, the tolerance will affect the distance from the lens mount to the image sensor. And in lenses, that tolerance affects the distance from the lens mount to the focal point of the lens. To add to the margin for error, DSLR cameras have a separate autofocus sensor, which is meant to be set the exact same distance from the mirror as the image sensor. In a perfect world, with everything made exactly to specification, when the lens is mounted to the camera, the lens's focal distance should be perfectly aligned with the image sensor, giving you tack sharp images. Sadly, we don't live in a perfect world. As you acquire cameras and lenses, you could get lucky where, as an example, your camera's lens mount might be off by minus 5, but the lens, by pure coincidence, might be off by plus 5. This would result in the differences in both cancelling each other out, and you get perfect focus. The numbers I'm using here are all relative and purely for illustration only, so we don't need to assign any units for the purposes of this explanation. In a worst case scenario, your camera lens mount could be off by plus 10 and your lens minus 10, doubling the error and giving your lens an overall soft look. In reality, getting a perfect match or the worst case scenario is extremely rare, but not impossible. Most camera and lens combinations will be somewhere in the middle, resulting in front or back focus errors. This will give a close enough, but not perfect focus, especially at large apertures. So how do we fix this? Many photographers don't realize that most digital cameras, especially DSLRs, have an autofocus micro adjustment setting, which is usually found in the settings menu. This allows you to compensate for manufacturing tolerances to give you perfect focus. The camera will need to be adjusted for all the lenses you own, and the number of lenses your camera can remember will vary between manufacturers and models. In this video, I will give you a general overview of how to do the adjustment. However, I will also link in the description below some guides to manufacturer specific instructions. Before you start, you will need a calibration target. Although professional and budget calibration targets exist on the market, you can very easily make one at home. All you need is something rigid that will stand up vertically like a box or a book, a ruler, and something to prop the ruler up. Start by setting up your target on a flat surface like a table. Next, get your ruler and prop it up at approximately 45 degrees, aligning a particular value with the front of your target. Next, set your camera up on a tripod level with your target at a distance roughly 50 times your focal length. This means that for a 24mm lens, 24 times 50 is 1200mm or 1.2 meters. A 50mm lens needs to be 2.5 meters from the target. Finally, make sure you have your JPEG settings set to maximum quality, although if you have the ability to shoot tethered to a computer, set your camera to RAW. The large computer screen will let you see far easier how much front or back focus error you have. So with your autofocus set to center point and single shot, take 4 to 5 photos focusing on the target, each time manually throwing the focus out so your autofocus has to refocus the image each shot. Now zoom in on the ruler and you will be able to see exactly where your lens is focusing by seeing which lines on the ruler are in focus. If you are finding the camera is focusing past the target, adjust the micro focus into negative. If your camera is focusing in front of the target, adjust into positive. In this example, you can see how the lens is focusing past the target with the line at 1.5 being the sharpest. A good starting point is to adjust in steps of 5, in this case in the negative direction to bring the focus back and then fine tune in steps of 2 and 1 until you have perfect focus. 
As you can see in this image, the micro focus adjustment is now correct with the zero line appearing sharpest. So the point of the ruler is to quickly show you which direction you need to adjust the micro focus. The numbers don't matter as long as you know which number is in line with the target you are focusing on. The camera will then store the final offset based on your lens serial number, so you can micro adjust all your lenses and your camera will set the correct offset based on the lens attached. When it comes to adjusting zoom lenses, your camera can only store one value per lens, so it is best to set the micro focus around half of its focal range. If you own one of the new Tamron or Sigma lenses that support a USB dock, you can fine tune micro focus across the entire focal range. This process is very similar, except you need to remove the lens from the camera and place it in the dock every time you want to update the micro focus settings. So it will take significantly longer, but will give you much better results. Note that if you are using a dock, the micro focus adjustments are stored in the lens, so you don't have to make any changes in the camera. So next time you read amazing things about how sharp a particular lens is, but you just can't seem to get the same results, before returning the lens, check the focus micro adjustment and see if your results improve. As always, thanks for watching. If you have found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe and press the bell notification icon so you get alerts when new videos come out.